So for this continuous random variable having cumulative function, find probability density function. So we're going to differentiate every interval. For FSA, change to F30, we're going to differentiate every interval so that it can go back to its original function. For first interval, to find F30, which is equals to differentiate 0. Okay, for this first interval, we're going to differentiate 0. How to write differentiate 0? It will be d dx. Uh, differentiate with respect to x. When we differentiate a number, it gives us 0. Then, we proceed to next interval. To find f t, we're going to differentiate the function that we have here. So, power turun depan, power to the side. Differentiate a coefficient x here, we get numbers only 3 over 30. So lastly, for the last interval, to find f to t, we are going to differentiate value of 1. So differentiate a constant, we get 0. So what we need here is the function. We cannot let the answer like this. This is 1 by 1, 1 part by 1 part. So we have to write it in the form of function. So from here, we can see our answer of our probability density function. What's the answer that we have? So we have one function here. So we write this function first. This is 1 over 20x plus 3 over 20 for interval 0 until 4. So we just follow the interval given by questions. Other than that, we can see answer is 0. So we will have another part is 0 for other y's. So this is our probability density function, f -t. Okay, so after we get f -t, so you can see here they say hence. Hence mean by referring to the answer means sketch the graph. They want us to sketch this F G. It's not sketching this F S R. So by drawing F G, we are drawing it by using the idea of piecewise. So we have just one interval. So we're going to draw this interval only. Therefore, before we start to draw our graph, we must find out the coordinate of starting point and the ending point because we must have a point then a point then we know how to graph it so for the starting point which is coordinate f0 you can see from the interval we find out what's the coordinate so when f0 we can see here this is 3 over 20 ending interval when x is equal to 4 here so y coordinate will be 7 over 20 then we can start drawing so this is our f sheet which is have 7 over 20 so we can do the scale one by one 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so x so starting point coordinate 0 3 over 20 so which is equals to 1 2 3 which is here and then this is not include so this one should be empty circle uh, so not be 10 circle so for 4 this is 7 over 20 empty circle so to draw this graph from one point to another point we can see our function here our function is linear so when our function is linear means we're going to draw this graph by straight line so use your ruler and join this graph by straight line so here we complete our function uh, this is our f function this is our graphing.